All right. First attempt at trying to repair my speedometer, which this is not. This is an earlier version. I'll show you mine. Still correct mileage. It's been working great, except it's missing its trip function. Um, actually was able to get the shaft figured out. I had to get a torch on it to get the uh, thing out. But anyway, this, if you'll notice, the screws are far apart. I'm sorry, I should have done this earlier. See that on the front of the face? On my version, they're in the center. So they look very similar. This one's got some nice patina to it. The numbers have turned cream colored. And functionally, it's very similar. I took the cap off and stuff like that. Um, magnet, all that sort of stuff. The trip function is different though. And if you look here, it's more of a slot. So the housing looks relatively the same. It was flat head screws in this. Got this on the side. Looks a little different if you compare the two. Go back to the other video. There's gotta be a, I don't know if the right term is intermediate shaft, but there's another shaft that would hook into that. And what happens is to reset the mileage, you actually, it's a little spring loaded to a degree, let me show you. And that gets it off the gear, and then it's easier to turn, or then you can turn it and reset it to zero. So this does work. There's also the needle function works. The, um, I won't be able to, eh, I can do it just with my finger a little bit, but um, Problem is this one, the gear is seized up. It's this white gear here, which I tried to free up. Um, Cause I was tempted to just use this as it's pretty nice. Uh, and I could <laughs> hook it up to a Dremel and run it at 80 miles an hour for a lot of hours and get it up to the matching speed. But, um, and at least it'd be honest, but uh, this white, gear, that first one in the back there, is what comes off the cable or the mechanism and starts turning the teeth and everything like that. It is seized. I've tried to, I don't even want to show you, tried to loosen it, lubricate it, blah, blah, blah. It's probably melted in the back because you can spin this thing as fast as you want to 80 miles per hour and it's not turning at all. And then thus the trip isn't turning, but I have been able to reset the trip multiple times. So, um, almost works. I could try to free that up and get a thing and whatnot, or, and hope it's similar to mine, but I think we're just going to go back and get another one of these and try to try to fix it. But so if you have these spread apart screws on the front, that probably means an earlier call it 79 and below or 78 and below. Not sure. Uh, version and it's not going to be parts compatible with the internals of the you know late shovel heads.